rescue renovation. This couple was thrilled when a DIY savvy friend offered to help them turn their bare basement into a comfy family room. He knew everything. We figured he'd just show us the ropes. We'd kind of follow his lead. Their pal started by selling them a garage full of supplies. So he has these saws, table saws, every type of tool you can think of. Sounds great. So why does their basement still look like this? We're like, uh, what do we do? <laughs> Lucky for them, Kaylee McCabe is on the job. Ah, oh, got the smell of brand new tools. And she's not going anywhere until this empty space is a finished family room. Oh my goodness. And it all starts now. Tree and Crystal Adams are tall people, so they fell in love with the tall ceilings in their basement. But once it came to actually finishing off the space, they realized it was going to take more than love and good intentions to get it done. So what was your plan with this space? The biggest thing we really wanted to do was just get more entertaining space. There's a lot of times we'll have a lot of company over. He coaches a basketball team, so we'll have like the whole team and their family over. And we just don't have enough room for people. Why didn't you guys, I mean, you have put some storage down here, obviously some carpet. Put a book down here that says how to write a program or anything. I'm okay with that. I have all the IT books you can put. Oh, yeah. there's no how to build a basement book. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't even have that book in our collection. We have plenty of supplies that we could buy. Wait, why? Because when we originally started the project, a, a friend of mine was willing to work with me to get this project done. Was he an IT guy too? Yes. Well, so he was an IT guy. Well, he's an IT guy that actually like build homes. Oh, okay. So his hobby was building homes. Uber, Uber. Yeah, like, like, yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> yeah. He retired and moved to Arizona. Oh, all right. So we convinced you to buy all this stuff and the tools, and I was like, see ya, I'm retiring. All right, let me out of your basement. I want to go see your cool garage. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. Wow. So, yeah. I, oh, we were not joking. You have all the fixtures for the <laughs> Basically bathroom? bathrooms. We have more lighting, more. Yes. Light fixtures. Yes. What's in here? OK. All of your outlets. Yes. Your <laughs> There's still, like, styrofoam in here. This yeah. is brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Joint, Joint compound. I don't know what that does, but we have some. Oh, God, the smell of brand new tools. <laughs> <laughs> So now you have a garage full of stuff to remodel your basement, but you don't have quite the skills to tackle a project this size. That's putting it nicely, yes. So this is probably an eighth of what we need to do what we're going to do to the basement wow. downstairs. We're so way off, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> we thought that was enough. <laughs> no. It's going to take that pile and so much more to complete this plan. First, we're going to frame the space into a basic U-shape. On one side, we'll build an entertainment center and floating shelves to house the book collection. On the other side of the room, the plumbing is already in place for a bathroom, so we'll finish that off for them. Soon, Crystal is going to be working from home, so we'll add a desk and office space for her, along with some more seating. Finally, the whole room will be finished off with new hardwood floors. But first, we have to clear everything out. I think you guys should do something with this we table. do something with this. <laughs> this table used to be our dining room table a long time ago, and lately it's just been used to place folded laundry on. Hmm. I like it, and I think we could use it down here because we do want to add some seating. OK. So um, Michelle's our designer. Well, you know, the whole design down here, we're kind of going a little more contemporary. So I love the structure of this table in terms of its great wood. But I think we need to change the way it looks a little bit so okay. that it works well in this space. Tell me what to do. We'll make it happen. Since right now, the only thing holding in the insulation is these white plastic sheets, we've got to frame out the entire space. We're going to fur out all the walls. There's a lot of plumbing that's coming down. And then we're also going to drop down the ceiling. It's going to hide a lot of the venting, the structure, and more venting and plumbing. Yeah, I have a concealed carry permit. <laughs> and because we're in a basement with a concrete floor, we're going to do floating walls. That way, if the concrete ever heaves, this wall isn't floor to ceiling and pushes upward and does damage to the structure above us. This is the first step doing 
floating walls. We have our green plate down here attached, and now we built a wall here. It's not going to be attached to the bottom plate, but instead we're going to have a space in between. We're gonna put nails to hold this in place, but if this floor ever shifts up, or if this floor ever heaves, this wall isn't gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna go shooting through the roof. I plan on finishing this framing today so my drywallers can get in here tonight and get this space coherent again. Ooh, my boys are gonna be busy. <laughs> I don't wanna give Tree and Crystal just an ordinary basement. I wanna give them a lot of custom areas that they can hide all of the stuff that they have. So I'm going to build them an entertainment center. It's going to be low to the ground and span the entire wall. And I'm going to build four separate boxes. These boxes will set sort of off center, so there's a little bit of interest with them. So now that the cuts are done, all I need to do is stain and paint them and then put them together. And maybe sand a little bit. We've made more progress today than we have in, in seven years, which is kind of sad, but it makes me excited to see the finished product. Coming up. We're not wasting a thing on this project. I love it. I absolutely love it. Here's a way to make a junky table super cool with just a few custom touches. I went to a welder and asked him if he could use what's called hot rolled steel. Plus, yeah! Don't toss your hardwood scraps. Yeah, it's good for the earth and your wallet, but see how they actually make your floors look a whole lot better. Our seams aren't going to line up. Brilliant. I design, renovate, and innovate. I'll make your tired space into a mega den. Awesome. Wow. Your den will be so sweet. Everyone will want to be there. In all new mega dens, Sunday night at 8.30 only on DIY Network. Here are the DIY basics of hardwood flooring. Brought to you by Lumber Liquidators. There's a hardwood flooring for any subfloor. Traditional hardwood is solid boards like oak, hickory, or bamboo. It comes in two and one quarter to four inch widths with varying thicknesses. Depending on style, traditional hardwood can be nailed to plywood or glued on concrete. Engineered hardwood is solid hardwood atop multiple cross-grain plies. Widths vary. With planks as long as seven feet, its stability or moisture tolerance makes it ideal for basements and kitchens. Depending on style, engineered flooring can be stapled over kitchen vinyl and plywood. You can even glue it over concrete. Floating engineered hardwood is not fastened down at all. Instead, these boards click together. With moisture barrier and underlayment, they float over almost any floor. Last tip, choose pre-finished hardwood and you'll never have to seal your floor. This DIY basic is brought to you by Lumber Liquidators. Hardwood flooring for less. For more on the basics of hardwood flooring, check out DIYnetwork.com. We've been doing some remodeling and we finally got around to redoing our floors. We are very competitive. He thinks he's going to find something just like Bella Wood, only cheaper at the big box stores. I told him, bring it on. I definitely won. He did find the flooring department, but nobody was there to help him, and I've already checked out. And I can afford to have Lumber Liquidators install the flooring for us instead of us having to do it for ourselves. I'm a happy Lumber Liquidators customer. The Johnsons, right? Yeah. Which house is yours? The one with the Silverado out front. So, what do you do? Well, uh... Nice. <laughs> and Bingo was his name. <laughs> I... For those who live life for a living, the Chevy Silverado. From worksite to home front, Chevy runs deep. Want some great DIY tips? Go to DIYNetwork.com slash help around the home. Brought to you by Drano Snake Plus, a two-step solution for your toughest clogs. Tree and Crystal Adams had big plans to finish their basement. They have all the tools and supplies to make it happen, but none of the skill. I think the biggest thing is it's just been a space of wasted potential. I'm a construction gangster. <laughs> Lucky for them, Haley and her team have enough skill for all of them. Their friend came in and convinced them they could do this? No. 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 Now the drywall's up, electrical is done, and the soon-to-be bathroom is plumbed and ready to go. Next step, putting down a hardwood floor. I am putting down a layer of foam underlayment so that I can put down a bamboo floor in this basement. I am going to glue them because I'm on concrete. And so nails won't go through concrete. So this is a way to do a floating floor in a basement. 
Since all of these bamboo pieces are the same size, we're gonna start with a full piece, and then when we get to the end, that remnant will be the starter for the next row. That way we're always using our scrap and our seams aren't going to line up. Brilliant. The first two rows are always the most critical. Once they're down and straight, the rest of the install should be pretty easy. This is going down so fast, but it always goes faster with more people. So I'm going to get the homeowners down here. The skills I learned in kindergarten weren't wasted. Yeah, I was never good at standing inside the line, so I'm just <laughs> glad you're doing it. I don't know what ever made me think that we could take this on by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> because I just have a new appreciation for all the work and detail that's involved in it. Tree and Crystal have a ton of books, so we're building them a wall of bookshelves to house their collection. I'm making a bunch of shelves that are actually going to float. So in essence, they'll sit against the wall, and they won't have any supports that you can see. I've got a top and a bottom cut out of this 3 quarter inch birch, and I've made a lot of inch and a half strips here. They're going to just fasten to this bottom, and then I'm going to take the top, lay it on, sandwich it in, go ahead and glue it and nail it. And it's going to give it a lot of support along lengthwise. That way, this shelf doesn't actually bow any when it gets a lot of weight on it. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to face it out with some more birch, stain it up, and uh, ready to go. The bookshelves are going to be wonderful because we've just had old traditional bookshelves. It's going to be nice having a new modern look down there. Well, first of all, having any look down there, I think will be nice. <laughs> The old dining room table we found in the basement is being repurposed and going back in. Step one of the makeover is some new appendages. These outdated spun legs were originally on the table. So I went to a welder and I brought the old table legs so that he could get these dimensions accurate and asked him if he could use what's called hot rolled steel. And hot rolled steel is a natural steel color so that we could make this table appear to be more contemporary once you get it painted. I love it. I absolutely love it. What a nice touch. The bookshelves are built and ready to be hung. Bam! Woo! But first, Baker has to install the supports to hold the shelves process that requires some metal-on-metal -metal drill work, which can be hard on your drill bit. So two holes, we're down two bits already. I'm just using motor oil, it kind of keeps the bit lubricated and keeps it a little bit cooler, as opposed to the friction metal-on-metal. -metal. Cables go in to connect the shelves because, well, they look pretty cool. <laughs> I don't have anything funny. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we have left to do now is another one of these right here, and then some over here behind the entertainment system. And, uh, done. You know what really turns a big empty space into multiple rooms? Doors. So we're installing them in the closet and bathroom. Shane is putting in the door, Baker's putting in the shelves. I'm just about to finish up with the floor, and then we're gonna start tiling the bathroom. Also, I have to finish building the entertainment center. Pain has to happen. We've made a lot of progress already today, but whew, we have a lot more left to do. Chop, chop, Shane. <laughs> Coming up. Sort of like you're an artist for the canvas. The key to laying extra large tiles that'll last. I don't want them to have a weak point and crack. And three gadget-free ways to find the studs in your wall. That's one way to tell, which is also how we did it. Cool Tools rolls into Vegas. Where's the party? For the 2011 Hardware Show. Get great holiday gift ideas to make any project easier. The Cool Tools Hardware Show 2011. Tomorrow night at 10, only on DIY Network. We used hidden cameras to ask returning travelers about their vacations in Mexico, and here's what they said. So where's you guys flying from? Uh, Cabo. Oh. It's great. If you're gonna, I would highly recommend it. I actually liked it better than Hawaii. What was the difference? I think just because it was so easy, honestly. And it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Everybody speaks English. Yeah. Even, the, even the cab driver spoke English. Oh, really? Yeah. OK, good. It's a really cool city. It's a lot more modern than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Stay as long as you can. Will our status at 5 o'clock Friday morning be worth updating? What are the to-dos we'll check off and the prices we'll brag about? There are plenty of reasons to resist the snooze button this Friday morning. And whether we're online or in the aisles at 5 a.m., 
Those reasons can be standing in our kitchens and laundry rooms for years to come. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Update your laundry status, too. Black Friday, this washer or dryer is just 549 bucks each. Breaking news. Mortgage rates hit new record lows of 3.75%. In the time you're watching this commercial, you could call Lending Tree, where customers save an average of $353 a month. Call Lending Tree at 1-800-361-0948 today. What is this, Shorty? Uh, tissue, sir? I'm sick. You don't cough. You don't show defeat. Give me your wall face! Calls a pep talk in every drop. Your favorite band is getting ready to play your favorite song. You know every note by heart. You're so close to the sound, and yet you're nowhere near a stage. That's the power of Bose QC15 headphones, designed with advanced Bose technologies that make your music come alive and keep out so much of the noise that just gets in the way. Don't just listen to your music, lose yourself in it with QC15 acoustic noise canceling headphones, only from Bose. Previously on Mexico Taxi Project. Stay as long as you can. Really? It's awesome because it's only a two hour plane ride. It was, the food was fantastic. The atmosphere was really cool. They well, I have friends that go like every three months. In fact, they just got married there in February. They like it so much. Oh, well, okay. Did you guys do, you didn't do any snorkeling or anything? Or? No. Like when I tell you, we literally just laid out by the pool <laughs> all day. That's all we did. <laughs> I've never been more relaxed in my life. Yeah, it was an awesome vacation. <laughs> MexicoTaxiProject.com the quest for the next great baker is back for seconds. 13 cake orders will roll over the competition and whisk everything to win. With 100 grand hanging in the balance and a chance to bake with me within reach, let the batter battle begin. Next Great Baker's new season begins Monday at 9, only on TLC. Only one will bake it to the top. And so the killer is <coughs> now. Coughing can really be disruptive. Hey, must eat the butler. <coughs> That's why there's Delsum. Delsum has a time release formula that helps silence coughs for a full 12 hours. All day or all night. Up to twice as long as other cough liquids. So the only sounds you'll hear are the ones you want to hear. Take her away. Delsum. Silence is relief. <coughs> Try Delsum nighttime cough and cold and turn cough and cold time into bed again. This family wanted to finish their basement, but they had no idea how to make it happen. But with the help of Kayleen and her crew, it's gone from ugly to damn near done in no time. This was not done by a rookie. This was done by a pro. <laughs> Now the walls are up, the new bamboo floor is down, and the custom builds are looking good. Kayleen's assembling the entertainment center, while Baker installs the shelves that will float above it. We decided to uh, get these angle clips, and they're pretty heavy duty, as you can see. We're putting one in the side here, and two in the back. Makes it nice and firm. Really put a lot of weight on them. So now that I've got these three done, I've just got two more back here in this corner, and I'll be finished with the shelves. The basement was already fully plumbed for a bathroom, so now that the walls are framed, all we have left to do is some finish work, starting with tile. It's great because they chose a really large tile, which means less tiles to put down overall. To make accurate cuts when cutting tile, you need to use a wet saw. It is a saw that has water coming out of it, and that's going to cool the blade off and keep it from creating too much friction and therefore doing damage to your tile. So I'm going to cut these and then grab Crystal, and we're going to set some tile. We're excited about putting the tile into the bathroom. I think he got the big ones because he knew we'd get done quicker. Yeah. So... <laughs> Thinking way ahead, dude. I'm so far ahead of this. I'm gonna put down a layer of thin set on the floor, and I'm gonna have you back butter the tiles. Sort of like you're an artist for the canvas. So you're gonna smear this around and then go one direction with the grooves. Oh, once it's all on there? Yeah. And keep the towel at an angle like this. Back butter everything, because these tiles are so big, I don't want them to have a weak point and crack. Oh, gotcha. OK. So the last tile is in. I just need to let it dry, and I can come back and grout. And then this project, it's done. In this house, 
nothing is small, especially their sports memorabilia collection. <laughs> so Baker's building one more custom piece to house their goods. Tree Coach is basketball, and I got a lot of jerseys and things like that. So what I'm actually doing right now is getting ready to make a it's display case, so to speak, a shadow box to, to keep one of his autographed jerseys in. So once I've got all the top, bottom, and two sides cut, I'm going to dado for an acrylic piece of glass. That fits. And um, it's going to be a nice little showcase piece for him. <laughs> this room needs to be a place for Tree's basketball teams to chill out, which means TV and video games. And the last pieces for that hangout area are built and ready to hang on the wall. These are the boxes that I built for the entertainment center. We're keeping in mind where the studs are at when we're attaching things like this that are really heavy. We can tell where the studs are at because you can see where the tape lines are or where the mud is at. That's one way to tell. Another way, you can knock on the wall or you can just frame the walls and know where the studs are at, which is also how we did it. So see how we're repeating the floating theme all over this room? The shelves are floating, the bookcase is floating, and their entertainment center is floating. Like we're in some sort of anti-gravity basement. <laughs> and now that we're actually being able to see it shape into a regular room, it's, um, it just gets me more and more excited. I can't wait for reveal day. Coming up. I have to finish the finishing touches today because we're finished. After this, we're done. It all comes down to the final push. I want to go see it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> See what details take this room from cold to killer. This is wonderful. Hey, what's the catch? <laughs> Run My Renovation, the home improvement show that puts you in charge. Sweet. If they love it, great. If they hate it, tough luck. This is not Man. my kitchen. Run My Renovation, an all new episode is coming up next only on DIY Network. DIY Download, protecting your family during a home emergency. Brought to you by Brother P Touch. Pack an easy-to-carry emergency kit with things your family needs if you have to evacuate your home for a while. Have an escape plan ready with a designated meeting place outside the home. Be sure to display it in a common area. Keep batteries and alarms current. Change them twice a year. To be extra safe, label them with the season. A good way to remember is to replace them when the time changes in spring and fall. Labels can also help minimize the chance of accidents and allow your family to act quickly and confidently in an emergency. Think about labeling all water cutoffs and label circuit breakers for quick reference. The more you can do to avoid confusion in an emergency, the safer your family will be. This DIY download is presented by Brother P-Touch. Stick with a label that lasts. Download more great info at DIYNetwork.com. At the firehouse, we test all of our equipment, right down to the Brother P-Touch labels. They're laminated, they're tough, and they stay right where you put them. We use them all over to find, organize, and identify stuff indoors and out. If they're tough enough for us, they're tough enough for you. Brother P-Touch, stick with a label that lasts. Available at these fine retailers. Prove the weather report wrong. Again, and again, and again. X-Drive Intelligent All-Wheel Drive. Now on 26 BMW models, including the 528i X-Drive sedan. Hurry in to the BMW Mission to Drive sales event for an up to $2,500 credit toward a new BMW. The Black & Decker Sure Grip Laser Level ensures a straight line every time. The bubble vial changes from red to green when level. And Mark Free technology holds up to two hours. The Black & Decker Sure Grip Laser Level. Shop the Shack Friday sale this Friday at Radio Shack. Score big savings on must-have gifts all day long. Get there early for doorbuster deals. Shop Shack Friday. Doors open at 5.30 a.m. So right. What makes the Sleep Number store different? 
the Sleep Number Bed. With the Sleep Number Bed, it's not about soft or firm. It's about support where you find it most comfortable. The magic of this bed is that you're sleeping on something that conforms to your individual shape. In a traditional mattress, there is no adjustment. You get what you're buying that day. With our bed, you change the setting to something you like. This way, if you change your mind once you get home, you can adjust it. At our ultimate Sleep Number event, Queen Sleep Number mattresses now start at just $5.99, but only through Monday. Oh, wow. That feels really good. <laughs> it's hugging my body. You can adjust it to whatever your needs are. If I'm in pain one day, in less than a minute, I can get more support. Your body changes over time. The bed can adapt with you. Not only does it work for you today, but it's going to work for you 20 years from now. So whatever you feel like, the Sleep Number Bed's going to provide it for you. Discover the amazing Sleep Number Bed, the ultimate gift to yourself at the ultimate Sleep Number event, now through Monday only and only at the Sleep Number Store. When we started, this basement was unfinished and dreary, and there was no hope of turning it into the usable space the homeowners wanted. It's hopeless in the form of, we're clueless of what the hell to do. But now, with the help of Kayleen McCabe, this is turning into a comfortable, functional room. So now we can come in and do all the finishing touches in the room. And I have to finish the finishing touches today because we're finished. After this, we're done. The floors are down, the builds are in, and the walls are getting a few coats of bright paint. All that's left now is for Baker to finish the shadow box. It's your birthday. Go, Baker. Now I got all my pieces cut. I got a 45 on the edges. Stack the pieces together. I'll cut a quarter inch piece of plywood to these dimensions. That way it just lays in there, fastens in, it's a nice back. And then I've got this data right here, which is gonna receive the acrylic that I'm gonna cut to size. Only thing I gotta do now is tack these together, put the back on, and uh, get it painted. It's been a long journey, a good journey, and we're excited to see what happens, get everything done. And I tell you, right now, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see the finished product. So I'm going to go see it. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is wonderful. Yeah, what's the catch? <laughs> yeah, no, there's no catch. You guys are done. This is it. This is. Come, let's walk around. We'll come into the living room area. So you guys had bookshelves before? These look a little bit different than our previous bookshelves. Yes, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Baker did a great job with these, making them floating and very modern. But these things are sturdy, so you can load them up full of books, and they won't go anywhere. You know, we wanted to give you the entertainment area. You know, a big challenge was making this basement not feel like a basement. And one of the things we liked about this basement was it did have the high ceilings. And I wondered, you know, after it was finished, if it would still feel that way. But it's still very big and airy, and um, there's still plenty of room. This is wonderful. We did a lot of builds in this space. One of them was the entertainment center, which is sort of very low profile, floating, kind of keeping with the theme of the shelves that Baker built. The built-ins are wonderful, too, because we do have so much stuff, and, and we just didn't know how to put it. But the way the whole space is just kind of framed, it, it works out perfectly. Baker built the shadow box, and we had oh. a restaurant oh. renovation jersey. <laughs> that is That's perfect. Funny. That's funny. That's funny. That is perfect. We have a lot of keepsakes, but that is definitely a perfect one. We also wanted to make use of some of the things you guys already had. Mm -hmm. You have this table downstairs that sort of needed to be updated. Yeah. And we did transfer it around a little bit by putting new legs on it and a new paint job. So basically now you have a brand new table. Yeah, it's very cool. We still have that space to sit and eat or play games. Another area to... Entertain. Entertain, <laughs> yes. The one is dedicated to the Broncos. <laughs> make sure you understand that. And whatever else. <laughs> It is. This is entertainment capital. This TV, too, is now also in your new office space. Yes. We wanted to give you an area to work. This is wonderful. I have a dedicated space to That's get some work done. Crystal, you did a terrific job helping me out with the tile. Yeah. You know, you know, we definitely want to have a bathroom down here, but I just could I was afraid it was going to be really small. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can all fit in there. Fit in here. Wow, yeah. it's so big. We're all in a bathroom. <laughs> I'm the only one dancing in the bathroom. That's weird. Yeah, really Especially That's with no music. I yeah, know. Yeah. It's in here. You have a ton of friends here, and I also want to put your children in this space. <laughs> so let's bring everybody downstairs and throw a party and see what this space feels like. With a party. Sounds good. Awesome. Get it broken in. Party people! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, this looks, man, this is way different than when it started off. <laughs>
you guys do this. Yeah, we actually, me, Tony, and Tree were down here, and Kayleen showed us how to do it. And we actually installed this, but we got some skills out of this. We learned a few things. <laughs> <laughs> this really is nice. It's really nice. This is totally different. I can't believe it. I think He's the Cowboys fan. The Cowboys fans. Cowboys, Cowboys on that TV. Broncos on this TV. So how do I get my home? <laughs> I'm like, I'm this. <laughs> they didn't tell you this, but they're moving my room down here. So like, I'll be sleeping no, here. here. I'm not gonna cry. Right? Yeah. I'm no tears. I'm good. I'm good. So we want to say thank you. Thank you, everything. It for... was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm going to come to your house and totally transform your ugly room. Good news, not going to cost you a thing. Zip, zero, nada. Bad news, you lose all control because America's taking over. Could you live with their choices? Would you still take the deal? The